This is Gene Key, KTTT Texas News. The Associated Press reports a Texan was among the seven Marines who died last week when two military helicopters collided. The Amarillo Globe News reported that Captain Nathan W. Anderson graduated from Amarillo High School in 1998 and was a starting linebacker in the 1997 team that made the state quarterfinals. Anderson and six other Marines died Wednesday when two military helicopters collided during a nighttime training exercise at the Yuma Training Range Complex near the Arizona-California border. It was one of the Corps' deadliest aviation training accidents in years. The Associated Press reports the mayor and other officials in a small Texas town have been indicted in a public corruption case. The Houston Chronicle reports that Patton Village Mayor Pamela Munoz was indicted along with four city police officers and two other city officials. The seven are accused of using police cars bought with federal grant money as collateral to get bank loans dipped into for personal use. Munoz was indicted on 10 corruption-related charges. Patton Village is a community of 1,300 people north of Houston. From the Associated Press, a judge in Paris, Texas, has dissolved a temporary restraining order blocking TransCanada from crossing a northeast Texas farm with a proposed pipeline to carry Canadian oil to refineries along the Texas Gulf Coast. Lamar County Court at Law Judge Bill Harris granted the pipeline company's request to end the order on Friday. The Longview News Journal reported that the landowner, Julia Trigg Crawford, who had obtained the order, contends that the company traveled to property rights and the project could harm Cato Indian artifacts. A full trial is set for April 30th. Crawford says she disagrees with the ruling but looks forward to going to trial. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD Texas News.